cigarette. Excuse me? I, I said you got to smoke. No, sorry, I don't smoke. It's bad for you. Not much of a view today, huh? With all the fog. What do you want, spare change? No, no, man, I'm not panhandling. I just could use a smoke. So you said, and I said I don't have any. Okay, you don't have to get nasty. I'm leaving. Hey! What? You want a watch? A watch? Yeah, here. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Wow! That's a nice watch. Mm. Uh, Rolex! I won't be needing it. Why not? Let's just say I'm retiring. Good for you! Hey, hey, um... You okay, buddy? Look, uh, here, you might as well take this, too. <laughs> Uh, is this one of those hidden camera shows? <laughs> is, 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 is this some kind of a sting? Are you a cop? No, I'm serious. Take it all, spend it, give it to charity, I don't care. What's going on? Are you... What are you going to do? Don't worry about it. You seem kind of down. Yeah, yeah, kind of. What are you hanging around here for? You want to be in the financial district. What What are you thinking? I'm thinking if I stand here long enough, I'll grow wings. Really? Uh, you're going to jump? You, 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 you want to take the edge off? <laughs> before you go over the edge? Yeah, why not? Too bad it's so foggy. It sure is a beautiful view when it's clear. You can see clear to Alcatraz and San Francisco. Yeah, one more example of my rotten luck. Can't even get sunshine on my last day. What'll you do if you survive? Survive? Don't get me wrong. 98% of the time, when, when you hit the water, your heart will explode like a rotten tomato flung against a brick wall. <laughs> or, if by some quirk of attitude and angle of impact, of wind direction, weight of clothing, foot gear, uh, your, your internal organs might not be splattered like a Jackson Pollock Payton. <laughs> uh, still, 34 people have survived. Maybe you'll be 35. <laughs> really? That many? You seem to know a lot about it. I hang out here a lot. <laughs> people are always littering. Uh, how about another drink? Uh, oh. Big reason I'm in this mess. 
No, there's no love loss. But he's going to be mad I committed suicide. What was that? Well, we've got a $3 million life insurance policy on each other. The thing is, it doesn't pay off for suicide, so he's about to discover he's been stealing from himself. <laughs> what a shame that you won't be around to see the look on his face. You know, you look like you don't have it so easy. How do you keep going? What's the point? Oh, I have a purpose. <laughs> what purpose? Isn't it obvious? Collecting beer cans. Recycling. Recycling? That's a purpose. You got a better one? Besides, I like to find the things in life. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, that's rich. Ah. I like you. I didn't think anybody could make me smile about anything again. I, uh, I don't think I can take it. Gonna be homeless. So, so that's why you're gonna end it all. You're afraid of being homeless. Yeah. Speaking of which, you have the time, I should probably get on with it. Oh, uh, hold on. I don't think you should. Well, what do you care? Well, you see, <clears throat> there's a problem. You're not on the list. List? What list? Well, you see, there's, there's a list of, of scheduled departures every day, and, and you're not on it. <coughs> uh, I, I didn't introduce myself. I miss Reba. Look, I don't really care about your name. I'm about to turn my innards into mush, you know. Not according to my information. Well, I don't care about your information. I'm going to jump. I don't think so. I don't have your number. Okay, my number? Your information? Who do you think you are? I told you. My name is Reba. Reaper, as in reap what you sow? As in, uh, Grim Reaper. That grim part is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm really an angel. So you're telling me you're the Grim Reaper? Death? I'm standing here with death. I'm the one you came to meet, right? <laughs> you're whack. You're off your meds. Oh, I know. No size, no black robe, no wings. Everybody thinks you gotta have wings to be an angel. I keep telling them they're metaphorical wings. Figurative. <laughs> I just want to kill myself. Is that too much to ask? Uh, today it is, Steve. Oh, God, where do I meet him? <laughs> um, how did you know my name? I'm briefed on all my potential clients. Well, if I'm a client to your death, what's the problem? I say, potential client. Everybody's a potential client. This is bullshit. I'm going all over <laughs> All right, if you insist, go on, bully up. Ah, you don't think I'll do it? You can't do it. You can't do it, I'll show you. Ciao, baby. I'll be the <laughs> you, baby. <laughs> Something told me to be back, I can't do it. I told you. Why? I want to. I woke up this morning and decided this was the day. Yeah, well, it, it, it's not in the cards. Uh, try again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Will I be able to do it tomorrow? Let me see. <laughs> no! <laughs> God, I'm even a failure killing myself. Oh, it's not your fault. If your number's not up, there's nothing you can do about it to change it. When will my number be up? Uh, that information's unavailable right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? I told you, my name is, is Reba. Some, some people call me grim, but, but I think I'm pretty cheerful. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What is? That I have to have a number to die. Why? You have to have all kinds of numbers to live. Social security, your driver's license, your birth certificate, all kinds of numbers. Dying is part of living. Maybe if I bought a gun. No, oh, it wouldn't do any good. You couldn't pull the trigger. And if you could, the gun would miss fire. I remember a guy, Harry. Oh, Harry, he was something. Uh, he, he was stubborn. He just wouldn't take no for an answer. He tried everything. Guns, fire, jumping in front of a bus, skydiving without a parachute. <laughs> he kept me on my toes, did good old Harry. <laughs> finally got the message that maybe there was another plan for him. He became the head of a big company and a very generous philanthropist. He gives away millions every year. 
I'll be sorry to see him go. <laughs> His number just came up. <laughs> well, there you see what difference does it make if I die now or 20 years from now. Huh? I'm just doing my job. I don't ask why. Well, who do you work for? A, a little company called Providence. Incorporated. Maybe you've heard of it. No, 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 no. Who runs the show? Who gives the orders? No, oh, no. Never met him or her or them. I, I get dispatches from the home office. Dispatches? <laughs> On who to dispatch? Oh, that's good. I have to remember that. I got a dispatch on who to dispatch. Can I use that? Yeah, be my guest. Oh, well, well, I got to get going. Still got a lot of work to do. Lots of dispatches. It's a 24 7 job. As one mortician said to the other, can you dig it? <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> a little gallows humor. My specialty. Well, you know, you better take your stuff back. You're going to need it more than I do. You can't just leave me hanging up here. Oh, hanging won't work. I guarantee the rope will break. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you're all right. Told you. I'm an angel. <laughs> 